beauties welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how I created this beautiful jumper dress which I styled for a nighttime event in London and I think it would be perfect for the Christmas season ahead as well as New Year's party if you want to see how I created this look keep watching <laughs> Okay, seriously, you're not dancing. Let's design. So I decided to go for a very simple A-line jumper dress. This silhouette is very flattering on most body shapes. And around the hemline, I would be creating gathers to create fullness. I just think that it's really cute. And then I'm going for a three-quarter sleeve, which would have sort of like a royal blue faux shielding around the elbow. I don't know, I just thought that would be really cute. And that's just the design right there, I'm just adding on some details to be as graphic as possible because the more detailed the design is, the easier it would be to draft the pattern. I was influenced by the ruffles as well as the oversized trend which is everywhere, on every catwalk, on every online store and I thought it would be really cute and really fun to recreate my own design with this trend incorporated in it as well. So here I'm just noting down how many patterns I need, how many I need to cut and just details that would just make the whole process very easy. Okay, let's do this. So difficulty level is intermediary and these are the steps if you want to co-create this dress with me. So I'm going to go ahead and draft my patterns. So as you see, I've done my front, my back and I walked from a size 10 block because I wanted the dress to be really oversized and that is the sleeve and it has three pieces and the middle one is where the faux shielding insert is going to go. So in terms of materials, I am working with this lovely blue fabric that has the most amazing quilted. I think I'm in love with quilts this period. They're just so gorgeous. And I am using this royal blue faux shilling. It almost looks like a towel or a rug, but it's really soft. And it just got matching thread, baby scissors, tape, a big scissors to cut my fabric. And for equipment, I sew at home with the Brother LS14 and I overlock my edges with this domestic overlocker as well. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay a pattern on the fabric and just make sure I maximize the most and waste the least because that's just something I've been trying to do a lot recently. And once I have them all laid and pinned down nicely, I cut carefully around the edges and I've included seam allowances where necessary. Alright, so once all the pieces are cut down, I'm going to go ahead and neaten around the edges because it's a woven fabric, it frays annoyingly, so I'm just going to overlock the edges on my overlocker. So once I'm sewing, I know I wouldn't have to deal with any shedding on any annoying bits that would fall off the fabric and it just comes out really nice and smooth around the edges. Time to join the pieces all together. It's just like a puzzle and you just have to fit what parts goes with each other. And you want to get the neckline sorted before joining the side seam, the hemline before going ahead to attach the sleeve. So at this point, I'd already folded in the front and the back neckline just to just create a really lovely finish that is beautiful on the eyes. And then I'll go ahead and join the back seam because I don't know why I cut two pieces at the back, I just did. And then once I do that, I would join my side seam. So for the ruffles at the bottom, I cut a straight strip and attached two of them at the side. And then I created gathers by using a loose stitch around the edges and just pulling them together to create that sort of nice gathered fullness. So I'm going to attach to the hemline of the dress. Sleeve, I had already joined the blue insert to the other parts of the sleeve and I've neatened around the edges so it's just easy to work with. And I'm going to join that along this edge and then attach the sleeve on a curve into the actual garment. Once the hemline is beautifully done and the sleeve is properly finished, you're done with your jumper dress. A 
lie this dress wasn't the easiest thing to make but it came out really lovely a bit over oversized for me but I decided to rock it with a belt so it looks a bit cute and nice and I just put it up with some tights because it was really chilly and this statement purse and earring as well and overall it was a smashing look I got loads of compliments in this entire outfit and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you enjoyed it as much as I did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe just before you leave I'll see you next week beauties bye